Japan is one of the safest countries in the world. But it's also a land of earthquakes. In January 1995, the Kobe earthquake toppled 635 meters of the Hanshin Expressway. Since then, the Japanese have systematically upgraded their transport infrastructure. New highways can come with absorbers to dampen seismic shocks, wider bases for stability, and links to prevent road segments from crashing down. At the Japan Railway Training Center, computer simulation is also used to hone the procedures for when a quake strikes. The earthquake triggered braking system slows or stops a train before an earthquake hits. In April 2016, twin quakes of magnitude 6.5 and 7.3 rocked the region of Kumamoto. But despite its strength, the death toll was under 50. Kumamoto's link to its heritage is its 400-year-old castle. Even here, Japanese ingenuity to overcome seismic events is reflected in the construction. Japan's efforts have helped limit the damage, thanks partly to upgrading old infrastructure. The Mitsui Shinjuku building opened in 1974. How to maximize its quake safety was a challenge met using a novel mechanism on the tower's roof. It's one of many instances that helps make Japan one of the safest earthquake nations. In the aftermath of an earthquake, shelters are a reality for many in Mashki, where over 2,000 were made homeless. An architectural studio in Tokyo sent the shelter's residents a unique system. In Japan, after the natural disaster, government prepared the evacuation facilities. Normally that is a, like a gymnasium, it's a brick roof. The people were suffering without privacy, so we started making the partition system. Japan, with more seismic events than any other country on Earth, is also the beacon to the world of how to not just survive disasters, but to thrive. <laughs>